Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 2 assignment of ethical hacking course. So let's see the first question. Which of the following is or are false for IP fragmentation? So the probable answer for first question could be option D. Because IP fragmentation is typically done by routers but not switches. So mark option D as the answer for first question. <coughs> Moving on to the second one. Consider the following statements. In transparent fragmentation, all fragmented packets are reassembled at then exit routers. And for second statement, in non-transparent fragmentation, all fragmented packets reassembled by host. So for second question, both the statements are true. So option C is the correct answer. Moving on to third question. For reassembling the fragmented packets at the final destination, which of the following header header field is or used by IP? Actually, here there are three probable answers. The first one is option A, fragment offset, and the next one is flags, and the last one is identification. So, mark option A, option B, and option E as correct answers for third question. Moving on to fourth question, an IP packet arrives at a router with the first 8 bits as 0100 1100. How many bytes are there in the options field? So here first 4 bits represent it is IPv4 and the last 4 bits represent the 12 bytes. Options field has 20 initially. So 20 minus 12 remaining 8 bytes. So the probable answer could be 8. 8 could be the probable answer for fourth question. And fifth question. In an IP packet, the value of HLEN field is 6 and value of total length field is 1000. Total then the number of data bytes in the packet will be so uh, actually initially there is 1000 length field 1000 equals here they give 6 so 6 into 4 is equals 24 so 6 into 4 plus data packets so 1000 minus 24 is equals 976 so the probable answer for fifth question could be 976 and moving on to the sixth one which of the following is or not true for IP addressing so for sixth question there are two answers. The first of all, uh, B is the correct answer. IP address consists of two parts, network number and host number. And A is also correct, but with small correction by an unique IP address. I think they have forgot uh, to mention this term unique. Because each host connected to the internet is defined by a unique IP address. If uh, unique is assuming that unique is present here, I'm uh, we can mark option A correct. So the probable answers are option A and option B. By assuming unique is exist there, inner meaning uh, suggests that there is unique. So A and B are probable answers. Moving on to seventh question. Which of 
the following is not a future feature of TCP. So for 7 there are 4 answers that is option A process to process communication. Okay, okay. Uh, actually uh, they are asking that which is not a feature. Guys, these, uh, these terms are very important because we should uh, clearly read the question. Uh, they are asking for the features or not the features. Here they are asking not. So, which are not the features? So, unreliable service is not a feature. Actually, it is a connection oriented reliable service. But they give unreliable. So, option D is the only answer. If they have asked for features of TCP, then a, B, C and E will come but they are asking not so option D unreliable service is the answer moving on to 8th question which of the following statement is a statement is or are false for flag bits in TCP header so there are 3 false statements here the first one is A sin equal to 1, ag equal to 1 represents a connection request. Actually, it, it represents confirmation message. And second one is option B. Sin equal to 1, ag equal to 0 represents connection confirmation. Actually, it represents request message. I mean, both are given interchanging. Both are false statements. And the other answer is option D. Push bit is used to indicate end of the message. Actually, it is not push bit, it is PSH. So, it is PSH, but they give push. So, I'm, uh, I think it is also the false statement. So, mark option A, B and D as the false statement. C is correct statement only. And moving on to ninth one, what is the subnet address if the destination IP address is 144.16.3, 34.124 and the subnet mask is given. So the probable answer for this could be option A. That is first option. Moving on to the final question that is tenth one. An organization is allotted a block with the beginning address in CIDR notation. What will be the address range for that block? So the answer for 10th question is option C. So mark option C as correct answer. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week 2 assignment of ethical hacking. So hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts, please uh, try to ask in the comment section. I will try to reply to those valid queries. So for further weekly videos and also uh, videos regarding other courses, please uh, recommend to your friends who are doing different type of NPTEL courses. Uh, keep supporting us like this. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.